and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the uh, Totems add-on. So yeah, this uh, cool many things because it like adds these uh, Totems that can drop from mobs. Um, and each one has a unique effect, so yeah, sounds like it, it could be interesting. These shivering schnibbles down here. Or that he's giving my head sweetie spreads it over when he does that. Yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, so yeah, that, anyway, so hopefully this will have some, uh, actually useful, um, yeah, yeah, get rid of these from last review. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, right, so. Uh, let's get into this. Oh, yay, yeah, it's one of these books. And I like these books better because the other books are a bit annoying. Uh, purchase and add on, you can discover totems by killing mobs. Or drop totems are associated with the mobs you kill, though you can sometimes uh, drop rare totems that aren't associated with any particular mob. Ruby totems, 21 totems that come with abilities, but their durability is limited. Emerald totems, 23 totems have more straightforward effects, but are just as practical for your gameplay. Diamond totem, 7 are, totems are rare, but have stronger abilities than the others. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is... Oh, you can put it in your other hand for some reason. I'm going to go into game mode 1. And I'm going to put in here Totem. Oh, it's EM, not UM. Totem. So you got Totem of Undyne, and then we got the Axolotl Totem. So. Put it in your hand. Oh, I didn't. So let's go to. Let's take my arm off and see if it applies a potion effect or something. And then we're going to game mode zero. And I'll just put my arm over there. So yeah, it gives you speed and water breathing. This is decent for just like if you're doing some underwater stuff. And also, can you craft? Yeah, so you can't craft them. Yeah. And I say, oh yeah, it tells you that. Uh, Axel Oil Totem, water breathing and speed. The next up is the bee totem. Interact to summon the battle bees. So let me put my arm on. And I'll song vin. So you get an attack, you right click and or interact and you will summon some bees to attack them for you. Which is pretty, fairly powerful because Vindicators are quite strong because the axe does a bunch of damage and they have the same amount of health as a uh, human player. <laughs> it has 60 durability, but I want to know can you enchant these with mending and unbreaking? So I have these enchanted books with a bunch of enchantments, B totem book. No, you can not enchant bee totems. Be you can you can rename them. Swarm. But you can't enchant bee swarm. 
So yeah, once you so yeah, for a uh, sixty durability, so we could probably set up like a uh, beacon. So hold on, let me use some of the B in real quick. Some B. So if I just if I stab this B with my looting and plunder sword, yeah, I get one. Oh, yeah, that's fifty durability. Why did I say sixty? It's fifty. But if I just give HP now uh, it sword and summon another B. So yeah, it's not a guaranteed drop. If I inch at P loot looting free. Uh summon another B in Yeah. Okay, so they are quite rare by the looks of it. I don't know, I'm just getting ext extraordinarily unlucky. Mm. Yeah, no, I guess I'm getting just really unlucky because uh, all the. I don't know how rare these things are. It would be nice if uh, it gave you a bit more information on how rare the totems are. Anyway, back to game mode one, and we'll see what the next one is. So the next one is the Blaze Totem. Interact to Spitfire. So let's um, bin. Yeah, you just right click and it shoots a fireball from the blaze. Ah, uh, so it doesn't count as a play kill, so um, he didn't drop any loot. Yes, yeah. <laughs> ah. Next up is the breeze totem. Interactive throw a wind charge, so get a here again. Yep, that's a wind charge. Don't know how big the A. So, yeah, you have to be pretty spot on to hit them. I hear the block next to him just now and he didn't do it out, so you have to hit right on them and you can't just hit near them. A little bit more AoE would be nice. Wait, how much durability? This has 200 durability for some reason. It doesn't, also doesn't really seem to do much damage, if any. Yeah, no, it's, I'm hitting it a bunch, but it's not really doing any damage. We, so yeah, I guess that just doesn't do damage. Next up is the cat totem. Uh, it scares creepers away, so if I some cre creeper, yeah, it runs away from the totem and it can't get close. What if I, hold on, some armor stand, I give the armor stand it, I summon the creeper. Okay, so the armor, if an armor stand holds it, the creepers don't run away. It only works if you hold it. Now, it would be cool if they could make it so that if the armor stand also holds it, then, it, then they'd run away. Because then you could, like, pull up, like, a big, like, anti-creeper force field around your beast using cat totems. Or, like, use them in, like, uh, creeper farms. 
Next up is the chicken totem. Gives you slow falling one. Uh, this the army gives me slow falling four, but yeah, slow falling is nice because uh, that means you get you know you don't take any fall damage. Uh, this will clear all the potion effects from you. So if I take my armor off, there, yeah, all my potion effects are gone. So this is this is would be this is decent if you like uh, you know fighting the wither wither and you want to clear your clear your potion effects uh, and you've got like a beacon down to give you like regen and the, the health and all that then it's pretty cool yeah that's useful creeper totem interact to trigger an explosion ah that's cool so it does damage to the uh hostile mods but not to the environment game mode zero and you don't take damage, but it does have uh, only a few charges. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Got the dolphin totem. This gives you water breathing and dolphin's grace. So that's cool. So again, that's good for some of this. I'd probably like go out of my way to get this one because it's you know dolphin's grace that plus water breathing is pretty good. Like uh, traversing the ocean blue. I uh, got the dragon totem, which gives you strength and it allows you to fly. Okay, so then we go game mode zero. Take my arm off because my armor lets me fly. So wait for the effects to run out. You put this in your hand, it gives you strength one. It lets you fly. Oh, yeah, so you. Ah. Oh, wow, it is basically just creative flying. A little bit slower than creative flying, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean. Yeah, well, a little bit different to creative flying. So it's not double tap to start flying and to stop flying. You just press and hold to start flying. And then you just hit the ground to stop flying. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool totem. And uh, yeah, and this being like one of the hardest totems to because you have to kill the ender dragon. And again, I uh, don't know the uh, drop rate for this. So you might have to kill the ender dragon a few times before you get this. Uh, depending on how lucky you are. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just hope that these are like super rare, two rare drops because it could be annoying. Enderman, interact to throw an ender pill. Yeah, it's basically just 53 ender pills. Yeah, just a stack of 50 ender pills. Yeah, uh, what would be cool is if you could enchant these with like um, uh, unbreaking and mending. So then uh, you would essentially have like, you could just like repair this with some XP. Maybe they might add that later in a future update, maybe not, don't know. And then you've got the Evoker Totem. Interact to cast a flying attack. Flying attack, why did I read that as flying? So let's get Vinny back in here. Yeah, he did not like that. There you go, I got him in a chain. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you get 50 uses of it. We have a raid farm, you probably need a fair few of them. Next up we have the fish totem. It gives you water breathing. Fox totem. Gives you speed to... Ye... Uh, you just... <laughs> Gas totem. Let's you shoot a fireball. Yep. So let's go over here. Ah. Yeah, it says fires, but it doesn't do damage to the array, which is cool. And get 50 uses of it. So let's get Vinny in here.
I think he just found the heck out of it. It takes a fair few to kill Vinny. Next up is the Goat Totem. Interact, do a charge attack. And it makes a screaming goat noise. Now, I do have a texture pack to turn the, uh, to make it to the screaming goat, so... Oh, and also launches them. Uh, to make it the screaming goat, so I don't know if it's because I have the texture pack or what. Uh, so, if it's different in your world, that's probably why. Uh, which would all, which would actually make it cool that it works with texture packs. So you could essentially make this any sound you want. I'm not, I don't think it's doing damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, oh, it does do damage, but all those hits I did to it, I only did like, not yet, it only did 9 damage because he has 20 HP and one punch does 1 HP P of damage. Next up is the Guardian Totem. Interact to shoot a laser beam. Laser. Oh, and you can click and hold to chip. Oh, so if I go to Gamer Zero. If I press and hold. Yeah, so pressing and holding does wear down the durability. But you can just do single. Oh, if you if you click fast enough, it might not even use up a durability. Or well, slow it. Yeah, if you click just right, you can use it without using up a durability, I guess. Again, would be cool if you... Enchanted with unbreaking and uh, uh, and uh, mending. Ugly totem. Gives you fire resistance and speed. Pretty cool. Uh, horse totem. Gives you speed and jump boost. Now, does the jump boost let me jump up two blocks? No. Then the jump boost is basically pointless because it, then it's only going to be like one and a half blocks or something like that. And it's just like, that. the only thing that's good for is like jumping over fences and it's like you're not, and that really makes it a limited use kind of thing. So the speed is nice, the jump boost, not so much. And Golem Totem, interact to uppercut mobs. Uh, Vinny, right click. Yeah, it shins them up. And they're on. Does decent damage. Does this, is this an AOE? So let's get a couple of Vinnies in here. Okay, can, can you two stay together, please? Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know. Trying to get these two to get now. Hold on. I'm just gonna stab them. And get some fence. Fence. Here we go. So go over here. And then we'll get a couple of innies in here. Oh, they're inside each other. Okay, so no, it definitely doesn't. It only affects uh, one mob at a time. Huh. So I think they do draw... Ah. So I think these might be like purposely killing the uh, mob loot sometimes. So the other one did drop an axe and an emerald, but I, I saw it for a split second and I didn't get it in my inventory. So I think 
These are like purposely killing the mobbly so that you don't that so that you can't get loot from using these. Which is a little bit tunneling. Uh tum M Totem Llama Interactive Spit. Yeah, this is probably gonna be useless because I don't really think it's gonna do damage because uh, actually, making the Llama Spit does do like half hours damage. So it might do damage, but not a lot. Panda Totem. Is it resistance? Yeah, resistance is nice. We use this damage you take. Parrot Totem. You can fly. Yep. It's the same flying as the Ender Dragon. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Phantom Totem, same thing. Take a that kind of makes the uh, Dragon Totem a little bit less special though. Fire resistance and strength, that's nice, especially if you're in the Never. Pick Totem, get interact gives cook. Oh, it's basically just fifty free pork, uh, cooked pork. Forty. Oh, it gives you five. And that gives you a random amount. Neat. So yeah, that's a bunch of free cooked pork chops, basically. If you're lucky enough to get it. Then you got Pillager Totem. Gives you strength. Polar Bear Totem. Gives you resistance and strength. Rabbit Totem. Gives you jump boost. Experience Totem? How do you get the Experience Totem? I guess it's just like... What? Gain more XP and it. Huh. Yeah. yeah I, it did say when you die, you have a chance of dropping a random one. Gives you XP. Yeah, oh, gain more XP. So if you're holding this and you kill something, it gives you a bonus XP. So let me get Vinny in here. Uh, and, yeah, I think it did give a little bit extra. Not like a massive amount extra. I don't know, it's a bit hard to tell. Uh, one. But yeah, that uh, would be useful for like farms and stuff. So I'm guessing you'd like drop that to, uh, randomly when you die. And you've got the fire totem. Burns nearby mobs. Yep, yeah, Vinny's on fire. Also, I'm going to take my arm off. And then we got food totem. I guess it's uh, cute. Yeah, gives you such. Oh, that's actually quite powerful because that means you're never going to go hungry. That's pretty cool. Haste. Oh, haste. It gives you haste too. That's basically a portable haste beacon. You got healing totem, which gives you regen free. That's really good. Uh, then we have knockback totem. Interact and knock mobs back. Yep, it pushes mobs away. That's not really very good, but it could have some use cases. Speed free. We had C on the ice, but yeah. Speed free. It's pretty cool. Next up, we have the Ravager Totem. Uh, interact to supercharge attack. Yep, yep, that. Knocked him really far back. Oh, and that killed him. Then we have the Sheep Totem. Interact to give colored wool. So yeah, it's just random wool. Kind of useful, I guess. I mean, it's a bunch of free wool, basically. But the randomness... I don't know. I guess it's fine. You're being random. 
Interactive throw, she'll couple it. And it puts down it puts down a lingering potion of levitation. But yeah, it, yeah, it also affects you too. You can just keep doing this. It's a little bit of a flaw, a little bit of flawed execution. Can't really hit yourself with it though. Eventually you will, and then you fall down. So yeah, just be careful to not hit yourself with it. Silverfish to tum gives you haste one. Yeah, that's fine. Skeleton totem. Interact to fire off volleys of arrows. Now oh, there's a snowstorm. Where clear. And get, yep, just shoots a bunch of arrows in an area. I mean, if you're surrounded, it's kind of useful, but they're a bit too spread out to be super useful. Oh, you can pick them up, so it's a bunch of free arrows as well. If you're one of those people who uses Infinity because they're afraid of running out of arrows, then it's good for you. It's, you're afraid of running out of arrows. Next up we got the slime totem, jump boost two. Okay, so does this allow me to get jump up two blocks? Yes it does. There we go, that's useful. Again, if it doesn't let you jump up two blocks then it's pretty much not useful. But if it lets you jump up two blocks then it is pretty useful because it, it makes like traversing uh, mountains and stuff easier. Uh oh one of the uh so one of the like recommendations I made for essentials was um piston boots are basically like you'd craft boots with a pit with a, some pistons and it would like make you auto walk up a block and you could jump up two blocks. And unfortunately you can't they can't make it so that you auto walk up a block, which is annoying. Uh interact freeze mobs. So that would have been me. They was like, oh, that'd be cool, but we can't make it so that you walk up a block automatically, unfortunately. Yeah, it puts a block of. Oh, it's not even just ice, it's packed ice. So, yeah, this is basically a good source of. Uh... Oh, but it, it does melt. So, hold on. I wanna. Uh, I just wanna get. a give. Happy Diamond. Pick Pickaxe Enchant at P Silk Silk Touch and EFF Efficiency five and what was the one that here we go haste totem so if I put the haste totem there I go to Gmo Zero And let's say I saw a chicken. Now use this. Yeah, it covers the chicken. I knew you can mine it, so it would be a source of... Uh, you could use this as a source of packed ice. You just have to be really quick about mining it. Well, in case I know you brought them, because they're quite big. So... I want golem. Yeah, it can encase an entire iron golem in there. So you just get an iron golem and mine up the blocks and just be careful to not hit him. And I just killed him. Yemu. One. Uh, I'll just get rid of these. So onto the snow goal. There we go. Uh, spider totem. You let you climb walls. Oh, uh, let's go over here. So this is useful. 
So, do I just... Yeah, you just look at the wall and hold space. You can't move left or right. So, I want to try... Oh! Yeah, there you go. You can just, like, sort of jump off the edge and then climb up to the side. But yeah, this is... Like I said, this is useful for, like, climbing up steep cliff, cliffs and that. So, yeah, that's a cool effect. A squiddy totem. Gives you water breathing. Dynamic light? What? What does it mean by dynamic light? Does it mean that it is a Oh, it is a dynamic light. So I guess the idea here is that it's so that you can see uh, when you're swimming in like a dark area. But for that, they could just give you the conduit effect and that basically... And that give, basically gives you night vision. Or they could just give you night vision. I guess it's a bit of an odd. Wait. No, it doesn't even work on the water. Yeah, so. Okay, so it's just like dynamic lighting is just like a second bonus effect, I guess. As like a reference to the glow squid. Uh, so I guess it's kind of useful, but not. Uh, it would be cool if like, the dynamic lighting worked on the water or if they just gave you night vision. Uh, straight totem. Uh, slowness effect in nearby mob. So you hold it, summon Vinny. Here you go, Vinny. You can see that he's got the slowness particles. Now, this isn't super useful uh, in survive against uh, uh, you know PvE because. Yeah, they're slower, but it's not... Eh, it's mildly useful, I guess. Probably went to go out of my way to have it on. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Strider. Let's you walk on lava. There should be a never portal block somewhere nearby. Yeah, over here, never portal block. Wait. That should not have happened. Oh well. So if I go to game mode zero. Then I can walk on the lava. It gives you fire resistance as well, so... Uh, you don't have to worry about like, oh, this is a lava stream. Yeah, you're fine in the, going in lava. You can't. Oh yeah, you can. You can swim up lava with this. This is pretty good. Um, yeah, let me kill myself so I can go back to spawn. Respawn. Yeah, itchy nose. Then we have the Turtle Totem. Gives you water breathing and resistance. Yeah, pretty good. That's it, that's bit, hmm. Honestly, I was expecting this to basically just be a permanent Turtle Master potion. Uh, if I get the Turtle... Yeah, the Turtle Master potion gives you slowness and resistance. So I expected it to just give you slowness and resistance. But to give you uh, water breathing and resistance, that's quite good. Yeah, it's probably right this time. Uh, Vex Totem. It lets you fly, just like the Dragon Totem and all the other totems that let you fly. Villager Totem. Here are the villagers. Yeah, I kind of expected that. It really wants to... Blizzard during this review, but yeah, gives you a bit of discounts on villagers. That's pretty cool, but you do have to kill a bunch of villagers for that. A vindicator totem gives you strength to. Oh, that's pretty. That's really good. Vinny has a really good totem. 
The Warden Totem. Uh, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Oh, Rainbow. So yeah, let's summon Vinny in here. Sonic Boom. And he's dead. We have 350 draw bits here, but Next up we have the Witch Totem, Interactive Throw Splash Potions. So it's weak that... Oh, you go. Okay, so it is... It is just an entirely random potion effect. Yeah, entirely random potion effect. Uh, let me get the cow one in here, so I can clear these. Oh, and how long does it give you them for? So, oh, uh, it depends on the potion, but it gives you for them for a few minutes. Uh, totem. Cool. So let's clear these effects. Top M. Next up, we have the Wither to Totem. Interact for the Wither Skull. Oh, this one does do damage to the terrain, so it's... So it does make it more limited use case, because, you know, you might not want to blow up the area that you're in. Uh, like I just did. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's summon. Bin let's go over here. Where it's all stony, and I don't care if it gets blown up. Summon Binny and blast him with it. Okay, so it doesn't give him the wither effect, but it is a two shot, and it doesn't have it doesn't have durability. It doesn't have durability. You can essentially just keep blasting away all you want. So yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay, I thought you could blow up a couple stone for a minute then. But yeah, pretty cool. Just wish it didn't do damage to the terrain. Then it'd be more useful. I guess that is like the drawback for it having like unlimited durability and being uh, quite strong. So you have with a skeleton totem, uh, with effect nearby. Oh, that's really strong. So let's again, let's get Vinny in here. So how? Yeah, it's not super strong. It's I guess it's just like with a one. So yeah, it's just a little bit of extra damage. And next up is the Wolf Totem. This gives you speed one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And Zombie Totem. Gives you... Oh, Regen one. That's pretty good. I expected, like, the uh, zombie ones as well. Be, like, uh, the ability, like, to kill zombie villagers nearby, I guess. Or something like that. He's still not dead. There we go. He died. So yeah, not doesn't do a ton of damage, uh, but it affects every non-wither mobs. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it got some pretty cool uh, totems here. So one of the best like flying mechanisms I've seen in any add-on. Like uh, the Morph Gauntlet add-on has the best flying system in my opinion. Uh, but this is definitely second best, uh, because the Morph Gauntlet, um, basically depending on the mob, the flying is better. So, like, the Ender Dragon Flat and Wither Fly is better, like, than, like, the Bat and the, the stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, pretty cool add-on. Uh, add-on with some cool effects so yeah i hope you guys all did enjoy this video i hope this guy this has helped you guys like figure out whether or not you want to uh, uh purchase this add-on or not uh but yeah 
Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye! Oh, it would help if I wouldn't. And bye-bye.